Buckle up kids, it's time for another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of the Trippy Food Grab Bag. We're joined once again by Lindsay from Reckless Eating. Hello. Um, the Reckless Eating's information will be at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, or just, you know, click on something. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. You'll find it. It'll be somewhere. And uh, we're trying a bunch of interesting, I, obviously the general thing here is snacks, right? Yes. We're, we're just, generally we're doing snacks. Mm -hmm. So um, what do we have? We have... Um, so we have flaming red hot salted egg yolk cookies. That's a mouthful. That's bizarre because it's, because I think it's salted cookies. And it's spicy. just a weird thing. Like you and think egg. cookies would be, yeah. So there's a lot of weirdness going on here. Yeah, the other thing is, 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 it, is it flaming red hot, but does it look flaming red it hot to you? It looks boring. It's just a bri it, it looks, looks like, like a bread. weird granola bar, yeah. kind of. Yeah, it's kind of weird. We'll find out what yeah. that's like. And then, then we have, uh, I, I guess, Japanese or Chinese Lay's? Not sure the origin. Yeah. Lay's definitely. The flavor is Italian red meat flavor. So that ought to be interesting. I think it's probably gonna be pasta, just yeah. like pasta sauce, pizza flavor, mm -hmm. potentially. Uh, and then we have some Asian Cheetos, and these are, mm -hmm. I think these were steak flavored. Oh. So there's a, like a picture of meat. Okay. So a steak flavored Cheetos, it sounds interesting. Do you think close. there's still cheese involved, or do you think it's just like a naked Cheeto that tastes like meat? I think if I think if, if it's not gonna have cheese in it, they should call them Mitos. Oh. <laughs> right? Mitos, Mitos Cheetos. Yeah. I think there's gonna be cheese in that. Okay. I, as a, and then these uh, Cheetos flavor shots, mm -hmm. uh, flaming hot flavor shots. I'm guessing they're like little balls of flaming hot Cheetos. Yeah. Uh, you know, so there's probably not too much of a surprise there. But Spicy we'll cheese see. puffs. We'll see. We'll yeah. See if there is. Maybe the texture is different or something. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. This one intrigues the hell out of me. Yeah. Same. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, uh, fish jer fish jerky, right? And and I think it's some sort of white fish. We can't tell where this is from. Yeah. We absolutely cannot tell where this is from. It seems like a, a, an Asian thing because they do a lot of stuff like uh, cuttle, dried cuttlefish mm -hmm. and things along those lines. But uh, but it just definitely doesn't look like Asian people on the outside. They look Not like sure. they're from the packaging. Like there's cartoons on the packaging, and if anyone's familiar with that, definitely let us know. But it looks like it could be like Native Inuit, American or, possibly, yeah. or like. Mongolian, not quite sure. There's ice fishing involved in the cartoons. So. And, this, and this says it's made in the United States, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm and sort it, of... And, and Alaska's part of the United States. Yeah, so. I'm voting more Alaska than Asia. But <laughs> so these are, gonna sure. be, these are gonna be weird. They're like perfectly formed square little sticks of fish jerky. So this is gonna be weird. Mm. Uh, and then uh, we'll finish it off with something that should be pleasant. And these are champagne gummy candies from just, Trader Joe's. Just cleanse the palate at the yeah. end. Um, so I, I don't know, I just th thought it sounded interesting. Yeah. Champagne gummy, so like, how do you get champagne flavor in a gummy? So we go from codfish jerky to yummy. You want to change the order? Fish. Fish. Have, no, what? I like this order. This is good. This, this, go this could either be really delicious or it could be awful, and we're gonna desperately be grabbing those. Well, you gummies. know what? You know what though? though? Uh, these because these are gonna be hot. Yep. That's gonna be weird. Mm -hmm. um, why you don't wanna we want to do what? those at the end uh, if it's gonna be spicy? Well, they're not the extra hot ones, oh, right? Okay. So they, that should be fine, right? Yeah. Um, you mean like after this, after this one, maybe just like move that one around? <laughs> How, what do you think, what do you think this, sure, right? Sure, sure, Cause that one we want to get all the flavor on that one, right? I genuinely don't think these are going to be that bad. All right. I'm voting, I may regret that, but okay. I have a feeling but they're not bad. The, the Lay's typically, um, even though whatever flavor it says they are, they just never, it never really seems to, uh, to satisfy that craving for that particular yeah. flavor that you're- It's like craving. a whisper of that flavor. Yeah. On the pictures here, there's no coloring to it either. It just looks like a very plain. Yeah, and you would, you would think it would have some red coloring because right. there's like, a, like, it's like a marinara it, or a basil, sauce or... something. Nope, it's just, it's plain naked looking chip. All right, well, let's, let's go try. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, 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 um, uh, people, uh, reckless eating people, yes. uh, will always appreciate that. Like when I'm doing uh, um, uh, chips with Matt, mm -hmm. I always open it from the bottom of the bag because because the, everything what? settles because everything settles to the bottom. All the spices and everything settle to the mm -hmm. bottom of the bag, and then that way you get that flavor in it. Okay, Val. Yeah. All right. He says it's not weird. Apparently, you think it is. That is weird, but I get it. Never thought of it that way. <laughs> I thought it's just being weird. Yeah. Um, okay, so I take it back. The color is different. Yeah. They're reddish. No real smell. They just kind of taste, smell like baked chips. They look like barbecue chips. They do. Yeah. Different they, than the picture, for yeah, sure. Yeah, they definitely That look looks more meat sauce colored. So Cheers. We'll Cheers. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah. Wow. They're very similar to barbecue, but not as sweet right. as barbecue chips are. But like but you meat do get a you do get a sauce flavor from that. I'm like I don't know about you, but I'm like I'm definitely getting a sauce flavor from that. Like a, a red sauce flavor from that. I don't get as much meat like meat <laughs> sauce. I no. I think to really sell it, if they had put basil or oregano, like an herb with that too, it'd really sell it. This there's tastes a, like a dialed back barbecue. There's a little bit of like a ground beef flavor that comes mm -hmm. in at the end of it. Yeah, the meat's there for sure. Yeah. It's just, it kind of tastes like Do they like use any, any actual meat flavoring in there? Oh or? God. I, oh. Or is okay. it all in Asian? <laughs> some Asian language there. Um, Italian fragrant red savory seasoning. Okay. <laughs> no idea. Red seasoning? That, it just says Italian fragrance. Hey, I'm Italian. Seasoning. I never heard of red seasoning. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it doesn't explain it. It says soy sauce powder. Huh. It, it does not go into what is in that seasoning. But there's no meat in it. There's nope. no meat in the ingredients. I don't think there's any actual meat. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Um, because yeah. it does, it does hint of a red sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about meat sauce, but it does hint of a red sauce. Yep. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get a good thumbs up. It's a decent chip. Um, I think maybe it could be like a tad saltier. Yes, I agree. Yeah, but I, overall, overall not bad. Yeah, I like it. I'd give it a thumbs up. I don't know if I would buy it on my own, but I do like that it tastes different than like chips I have tried before. Yeah. So just from like a fun perspective, thumbs up. Yeah. It's really cool. I agree. Yeah. Okay. This one, different story. Well, we don't know. <laughs> I have right? no I'll idea. bet you're off on this one. This is the mystery item. Ah! Oh no. You know why I can't smell it? Individually wrapped. Oh! Perfect. It's like it's like Christmas. Hmm. It's a box within a box. Yeah. Oh. oh. It's the gift that okay. keeps on giving. So one more time. Flaming red hot salted egg yolk cookies. And they're gold packets. So oh, I, and I got a golden ticket. They're Sichuan flavored, so they're probably pretty oh, spicy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but the, okay, so I have a problem with the Sichuan uh, peppercorns. And that, my problem with Szechuan peppercorns is that they numb your your mouth yep. and they change the flavor of everything that's served mm. with. So I don't I don't necessarily like uh, uh, Szechuan peppercorns. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's like a Frankenstein version of a old person cookie meets granola bar. Or a, it, it looks almost like a like a dog biscuit. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? I, have you had a dog biscuit? We're gonna do a dog I biscuit have. episode. I we have. will do a dog biscuit episode. I promise. They're fine. It's just like wheat. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Um, but they give you cleaner, fresher breath. They make you uh, urinate on car hydrants. Um, mm -hmm. Not a super strong smell given the yeah. flavor. Yeah. Fire. I would expect it to either smell like egg or more spicy. I see, yeah. All right. Well, this just smells go. like a biscuit. Oh boy. Oh, weird texture. These aren't cookies. These are, well, no, no. You know, almost like a graham cracker texture. Mm, mm-hmm. It's like a cross between a graham cracker and a um, shredded wheat. It's like a savory, yeah, savory graham cracker. I'm not getting flaming hot. They're not super spicy. There's definitely a kick to them. A little bit of egg. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh yeah, keep chewing. Go, no, no, it goes back, it goes to the throat. Really? The heat, yeah, the spice. Mm, mm, mm. So I have, I have a, 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 my throat is sensitive to spice, more so than my like mouth, the rest of my mouth. <coughs> I'm not a good judge for spicy stuff because I am a spice queen. So these are- This like, is sneaky. Barely. It's sneaky okay. though. The, the spice comes in afterwards. I kind of want- getting, Are you getting an egg yolk flavor? Tiny, tiny bit. I tried the egg yolk or the egg salad Pringles. That was super strong egg. This, you wouldn't really be able to tell unless there's a, you knew it was there. There's a sugary taste in there that bothers me. Mm -hmm. It's the cookie. It's, yeah. That's definitely like hint of sweet, kind of like honey. Like from, from, from my standpoint, you're gonna do flaming hot. You're gonna, so you're gonna do spicy and you're gonna do eggy. Go with salt, but I don't. I wouldn't go with sugar. If these were salty, even as is, like mm -hmm. if there was some sea salt on yeah. it, it would be instantly better. Yeah, I'm gonna give that one a thumbs in the middle. Same. Yeah, because they don't suck. Right. Yeah, there, there is flavor to them. Mm -hmm. There's a nice kick to it, a nice burn to it, and everything. But again, uh, like too sweet, not salty enough. Yeah. Okay. It needs a little more, a little more salt, and I think if they dialed the egg up a little bit too, yeah. so it wasn't just spicy. Yeah. 
I think that'd be great. Yeah, but nice. I like Otherwise, it. Nice I'm surprised. I'm so, surprised. so you're giving it a thumbs up? Or I'd give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Okay. Needs a little improvement, but I don't hate it. Okay, now these. And you say you're not worried about these, right? I'm not. I feel like it's not really a surprise. We know what it is. Whether or not it's going to be good, probably not. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's like Long Beach at low tide. Oh, no. <laughs> Wow, that, 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 is, that, is, that was a serious, that, that is serious. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that yeah, is low this is, tide. This does not mess around. Ooh, Ooh. that will wake you up for sure. <laughs> this is like dead clam, this is Jeez. like. Jeez, okay. It, is, it smells like the dumpsters at Kelly's so on Revere Beach. <laughs> don't eat that for Valentine's Day at all. Oh no. Wait. Oh yeah. Oh no, wait. There's like little bits of fish in there, is, is that it? what that is? Hold on. <laughs> It looks like, almost looks like a like a an uncooked French fry. So did they exactly? Yeah, it feels like that too. Or like a French fry that you is abandoned in your car and you find a <laughs> month later. Yeah, there's those little bits that like like if you didn't know, you would think it was moldy. So but I'm it, thinking it's bits of fish. Is it ground up and then they slice it, or do you think this is like a fillet that they slice and then? I think fry? they I think they grind everything up. Yeah. They lay it out and then they they slice it into ribbons. But oh yeah, Ooh, oh, that baby, one. that Ooh. is intense. All right, well, cheers. <laughs> oh, it's so salty and chewy as hell. But you know, it's jerky. It's okay. But it's, you know, what's weird is it's chewy, but it's also crumbly like cheese. It almost has like a it's like parmesan, like a like hard a cheese bag. Yeah. Parmesan. <laughs> Ooh. I don't hate it, hate it. I'm from Massachusetts, so I basically grew up eating the ocean. Yeah. But this is so salty. Now I want fried clams. Ooh, yeah, clam Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, are, you are eating the ocean in a, no, fr no, no. In a French no, fry. No, the fried clams with the bellies and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. Oh, absolutely. Oh my God. Yeah. It definitely tastes like the ocean. Mm-hmm. I think, it it tastes it tastes like you were walking near the shore <laughs> where there were some dead fish. Yes. And you fell in the water and you got some of that in your mouth. That's kind of what or it tastes like. You saw like a fish on the jetty and you're like, that looks like a snack. Let me just eat this dead fish. And no. Yeah. I would not snack on that. And and the texture is just really weird because it's like it starts out there's there's some <laughs> chewy pieces of it, but there's also some crumbly pieces of it, like you said, like a, mm -hmm. like a like a Romano cheese or something like that. But Texture wise, it could be improved. I think if they made it harder and more like a beef jerky, I feel like it's a little too soft where it's not quite jerky, but too hard to be. I'm gonna get a thumbs down. Oh yeah, definitely. Thumbs, thumbs down. down. Yeah. If you're really into very, very salty snacks, this, something this to almost, try. This almost tastes like they had fish that went bad and they're like, well, you know, let's just add some salt to it and dry it out, it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a strong taste. All right, it's gonna get an open. It's gonna get an open. <laughs> Fun to try, but never again. <laughs> All right, so now we're now with the Cheetos, and and again, I don't, Ooh. I can't tell if it's like supposed to be a hot Cheeto or not. Okay, it's definitely a steak Cheeto. Uh, usually the hot Cheetos not seeing are red. flames anywhere. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm thinking not. Um, but uh, but let's give this a shot. See. Meat Cheeto, or as Val said, Meatos. the Meatos. Yeah, Meatos. <laughs> that fish will not quit. No. Well, hopefully this will just quit it. <laughs> we're gonna have surf and turf. That's uh, that's that's kind of freaky. Snack surf and turf. Now we're moving on to steak. I don't mind my teeth here. Mm -mm. I forgot my Swiss Army knife. I will say, I feel like Asian snacks have stronger packaging. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, uh, the thing I love about um, like uh, the uh, the hot ramen. It's like mm -hmm. there's oh, for some reason there's always screaming chickens on the yes chickens oh, yeah. with with flames yeah. coming the out black of the mouth. The little one, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the the Paldo one and the um, salmon. Yeah. Both of them have screaming yeah. hot screaming chickens with flames coming uh -huh. out of the mouth. All right, uh, these are wow. Are they naked? They're naked. But they're not like I don't even remember what a regular <laughs> Cheeto looks like. Like if you take a Cheeto and you lick all the Cheeto dust off of it. That's I can't say that I've tried that, but no. Uh, okay. But just but <laughs> they're, they're not even as they're not even as orange as the they regular look Cheeto. Sad. <laughs> they're also dirty. They they have like a meat dust. You no, know, they look like they look like those you know those cans of uh, pr uh, potato sticks that you can buy. You buy. Yes. They almost look like yeah. that. Or the fried onions. Yep. Uh huh. Cheers. Oh. That is weird. 
That, like, if you had put this in a bowl and mm -hmm. I didn't see the bag, yeah. I would not I would not relate this to a Cheeto at all. Really? Yeah. Oh, you can totally taste that's a Cheeto. Yeah? Yeah. But I can tell it's a Cheeto, but I get no meat flavor at all. It just tastes like a no. naked Cheeto. Yeah. It's very bland. It's so bland. Yeah. Smell wise, it kinda smells it smells like a ramen packet almost. Like beef seasoning. But taste wise, there's nothing there. Well we wouldn't have is that? In here. Can you even read that? That's so tiny. Um, artificial steak seasoning. Okay, perfect. Well, McDonald's puts artificial beef fat flavoring in there, french fries, so you know, it's not a... If they had done like a teriyaki and made it sweeter, I think that would have been great. I think yeah. it's trying to do it, but it's just too subtle. It's you bland, it's really, they're it. really bland. It's yeah, just a naked down Cheeto. Down yeah. Okay, so now these are... Um, Very different Cheeto. Flamin' Hot. Uh, flavor shots, which to me they just look like like balls of flaming hot Cheetos. They're branding them as asteroids. So Cheetos asteroids. You were saying there's maybe something inside of them, or do you think they're just I like think puffy Cheetos? Oh, they're tiny. Yeah. I thought they were gonna be big, like cheese balls. I, they look like breakfast cereal. Weird. Yeah, they're like flaming hot kicks. No stop. Doesn't even taste flaming hot. They taste different. Yeah. They taste more like pickly. Yeah, but they're but it's not it's not as spicy as flaming hot. Oh wait, hang on. No, they grow. Yeah, yeah. They're the same like level of heat, but for some reason they taste more vinegar. Mm -hmm. Like it's almost like a spicy. Um, I think Chex Mix did a spicy dill mix. It tastes like that, but it's not intended to be pickly at all. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm gonna kind of give that a thumbs in the middle. Yeah, I'm pretty loyal to like spicy Cheetos, but that gimmick makes no sense. Yeah. I don't know why they did it, just a different shape. Well, maybe it's for topping, you know? Maybe you use it as a topping, sprinkle on salads or something. Maybe. Maybe it, they work better than the whole Cheeto. Maybe. I would just stick to the normal Cheeto. All right, but uh, yeah, thumbs in the middle. Thumbs yeah. Well, did I give it a thumbs in the middle or a thumbs down? Thumbs in the middle. Yeah, thumbs in the middle. Yeah. All right, so now I'll try these. These sound really interesting. Mm -hmm. Champagne gummy candies from Trader Joe's. Similar to Swedish Fish, right? Trader, so a lot of people out there, oh, wow. they leave Whoa. comments. Whoa. And, <laughs> <laughs> they look like little champagne yeah. bottles. Isn't that cute? They're like ducks or sushi. Uh, what, are the, what are those little candies they used to serve that, in the little Coke bottles that had the- Oh yeah, the, the wax? Yeah. And then you bite it open and you yeah, yeah. it. Mm -hmm. um, so the thing about like uh, some people leave comments and they say, well, you know, but I live in you know Topeka, Kansas, and there's just no weird stuff in my life. Really, check out like Trader Joe's. Yeah. Do do a little some searching about Trader Joe's. You can do some really interesting things at Trader Joe's. Smell them. They're strong. They are gummy. They're super gummy. They're Ooh. really squishy, right? It smells like alcohol. Yeah. It's straight up glass of champagne. Yeah. I mean, there, there's like a, there's an <laughs> alcohol smell to this. Is there actually alcohol in there or is it just flavoring? I don't know. Like, how do you... I wouldn't think you could do that. How do you do it? It doesn't say any of it. No. It tastes like alcohol. Trader Joe's, what are you doing? It tastes like alcohol and sugar. Yeah. Or um, like a jelly. Alcohol and jelly. But mm -hmm. not a particular mm -hmm. kind of jelly. Oh, well, no. That there's a little bit of there's a little bit of a grapey. Um, um, the aftertaste is pure champagne. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it definitely delivers. It's not like oh, we're trying to be this flavor and it just it's tastes weird, like though. candy. It tastes like champagne. I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, because I'm there's nothing that they, they did not mislead anybody on it. Mm -hmm. Those are champagne. Gummies. Yeah, and they're a soft gummy too. I know sometimes gummies get to be like weird, really hard texture. Yeah. Those taste pretty. They're fresh. nice. They're nice and chewable. Yeah. So if oh. you should uh, decide to try these, most of these you can find in Asian grocery, like I did. Mm -hmm. uh, this you could probably find it like a 7-Eleven. Uh, this Trader Joe's. So go out and try something different. Try to find different things. Uh, we'll try to bring you uh, next time a very uh, different and um, interesting uh, uh, trippy food grab bag. Sure. And we'll see you soon. Bye guys.
Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.